Okay, so last time we have seen the definition of partial differentiation. So we can differentiate um, any two variable functions, three variable functions with respect to x or with respect to y by using the definition of the partial derivative that is, is the limit. Now we will directly differentiate some function with the partial with respect to x or not. Find, find fx and fy fx and fy for the following function yeah. f of xy is equal to y to the power of 5 minus 3 xy where to differentiate this partial to x this is what the answer I think so this fx so, so what we have what we have we want to find first partial to first order partial derivative with respect to x now so what we have to do we have to keep y as a constant where the partially differentiated with respect to x that means we have to keep y as a constant so your y to the power 5 it is a single term we do not contain any x so that means it is a constant so derivative of constant is 0 so this is 0 then minus 3 will be added is derivative of x is 1 so this is what 3y so fy your y is constant here so they have to take the derivative of x here, derivative of x is 1. Now we are differentiating partially with respect to y. So y to the power 5 is what? So this is just like a one variable. To take the all formulas are same as the one variable. So only we have to take the care of what? If you are differentiating y, then other all the rest are variables are constant. You have to differentiate only the y. So minus 3x, your y. Derivative of y is 1 now, right? Okay. So, second, f of xy, f of xy is equal to x to the power 4 y cube plus 8x plus y. Okay. Now, we differentiate this fx. Okay. Your y is constant. So, this y cube is constant. Derivative of x to the power 4 is 4x cube y cube x as it is. Plus derivative of x square is what? Derivative of 8x square is there. Now this is what? 16x. And your y will be as it is. Then fy. Fy. Derivative of y cube is 3y square. So this is what? x to the power 4 y square. Plus 8x square as it is. It is constant. So derivative of y is 1. Next. f of xy f of x1 is equal to f of x1 is equal to twice x twice x plus 3y to the power 10 ok so fx fx now see this is a bracket contains both x and y so use the uh, use the same rule now but derivative of uh, this is something to the power pull the power twice x plus 3y to the power 9 then multiply by derivative of twice x plus 3y partially with respect to x. So derivative of twice x plus 3y partially is what? 2. So this is what then? 20. This is equal to 20. Twice x plus 3y to the power 9. Then f y do the same thing now. What? 10 twice x plus 3y to the power 9 into derivative of twice x plus 3y partially with respect to x. And that is what 3. So this is what 30 twice x plus 3y to the power 9. Okay, so we we'll go to the next example. Suppose f of xy is equal to x to the power y now. So fx. Fx. So we are differentiating with respect to x now. Your y is constant. That means your power is constant. So power constant is what? It is just like an x to the power n. And you know that derivative of x to the power n is what? n into x to the power n minus 1. So same thing here, what? y minus 1. Now we are differentiating. We have to differentiate with respect to y now. So y, that means x is constant. So it is of the form a raised to x. And derivative of a raised to x is what? a raised to x log a. So same thing here, what? Your x is constant. So your base is constant. So that means what here? x to the power y into log x. Okay. So suppose we have to differentiate this, this function now. 
with respect to x and y. This is x to the power y and here y to the power x. What is your fx then? Now here what? fx. Again y constant. Your base is constant. So again this is of the form x to x. So this is what? y to the power x log y. Log y. And fy. Means what here? fy. x is constant. So your power is constant. That means to the power. Right? And due to the power by 1 only. Right? This will be your answer. Next, f of x y tan inverse of x y square tan inverse of x y square. So f x. So this is tan inverse of something. Why do it make it? So we know that tan derivative of tan inverse x is one upon one plus x square. So that is what one upon one plus something square into derivative of something partial with respect to x so we may write like this right so 1 upon 1 plus something square into we are differentiating partial with you right so derivative of something partial with respect to x now so what is this derivative of this one y square so y square upon 1 plus x square y raised to 4 now fy again the same thing 1 upon 1 plus something square into derivative of something partially with respect to y. So derivative of y square now here. Derivative of y square is twice y. And x is there now. This is twice x y. So this is what then? Twice x y 1 plus x y square square. Or you may write this word x square y raised to 4 doesn't matter. You can keep as it is. Next, f of x y. So f of x y f of x1 is equal to x upon y. X1. I write, I can write this x upon y x into 1 upon y then, right? So we will write the derivative now. fx. So you are differentiating with respect to x. Derivative of x is 1. So that means this is 1 by 1 as it is. Fy. x will be as it is. Derivative of 1 by minus 1 by y square minus 1 by y square, this is minus x upon y square, right? Now then f of, next function, f of xt, doesn't matter, this is what, instead of y, this is given xt, root x into, root x into, ln t, ln t means log t, right? We write this as what? Log t. ln means log t. So fx, root x is there, right, root x, 1 upon 2 root x, derivative of root x is what, 1 upon root x, log t or n and t as it is, n and t will be as it is, then f t now, don't take f y now, so f t is equal to what, your root x as it is, log t, derivative of log t is same as what, 1 upon t, right, so this is root x upon t, root x upon t. Root x upon t. Suppose f of x y is equal to u. f of x y is equal to ln of x plus root of x square plus y square. And what do you want? fx report right now see here you want fx report right and the function is very complicated and the command is not given to you with the help of the definition or that this command is not given what we do we we'll find first partial as our our usual rule and then we we'll find we we'll put x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 in that just find out this okay solution given that given that f of x y is equal to ln of this ln means log Okay, so we find fx now. We want only fx report, so just find only fx. Right? So this is log of something. Derivative of log of something is 1 upon something into x square plus y square into dou y dou x of x plus root of x square plus y square. So this is 1 upon x plus root of x square plus y square into just we write the derivative. Derivative of x is 1 plus 1 upon root of something, 
This word root of something is root of x square plus y square. Mean to the root of something which is equal to twice x. Okay. So what these two two get cancelled and we we'll do this right. This is what one upon x plus root of x square plus y square into root of x square plus y square plus x upon root of x square plus y square. Right now, see this this get cancelled. This is what one upon x square plus y square. Both are the same. All the what here a plus b same as b plus a. So in numerator and in denominator get cancelled. So this is your f x now. Now you want f x three four. F x three four is root of root. Not this. This is what root of. So root of this is what x square the nine plus four k. This is what twenty five. This is what sixteen, right? So nine plus sixteen is twenty-five, and root of twenty-five is five. So this is one upon five. Now suppose we have u is equal to u is equal to x y sine inverse of y z. And you want u x find u x u y u z. Okay. So now this is three variable function, right? Actually, our force is what multi variable function, right? So that means what? So this is three variable, four variable, doesn't matter. So what will solution? Given that solution, given that u is equal to this, right? We'll find u x now. Then we'll find u y. Then we'll find u z now, right? So u x. So u x means what? All the rest. In that means what? Y and z are constant. This term do not contain x. It is constant. This is y constant. So derivative of x is one. So this is simply sine inverse of y z now. U y. U y. Now see here. Y is here and y is also here. That means what? This is two function. It contains y. That means you have to apply the product rule. So with the x as it is. X will be added. We will apply the product rule for y and sine inverse of y. Then. So your y is added as it is now. We will keep the first function as it is. Derivative of second function plus second function as it is. Derivative of first function. That will do. So uh, derivative of sine inverse x is what you know that derivative of sine inverse x. Sine inverse x. Derivative of d by dx of sine inverse x is one upon root of one minus x square. Right. We will apply that. So this is something now. So one upon root of one minus y z square into derivative of something. That means derivative of y z partially with respect to y. This is very important. So derivative of y z is what? Then z plus plus. Now your sine inverse y z as it is. Sine inverse y z as it is into derivative of y. Into derivative of y is one. So we are not writing one here. To this, right? So this is what then x into y z upon root of one minus y square z square plus sine inverse y z. This is your answer, right? This is your u y now. Now u z. That is what derivative of u partially with respect to z. Okay. So now x y is constant, so it will be as this. Now this is sine inverse of something. Z is there. That means what? Sine inverse of something is one upon root of one minus something square. This is what? Y square z square into derivative of y z with respect to z. That is what? Y. So this is what? X y square upon root of one minus y square z square. Right? Okay. So I hope that you can solve uh, right any derivative. Right, so you can write the derivative of any function is provided to you. You can differentiate partial with respect to x, partial with respect to y, partial with respect to z. Keep in mind that if you are differentiating with respect to x, you have to take y and z as a constant. If you are differentiating with respect to y, then you have to keep all the rest as well, the variables other than y as a constant. Right? Okay. So if f of x y is equal to if f of x y is equal to f of x y is equal to x y square upon 
x square plus y square x y not equal to zero zero is equal to zero x y is equal to zero zero this okay so that so that so that both first order first order partial derivative partial derivatives f x zero zero f x zero zero and f y zero zero f y zero zero exist but f is not continuous continuous at zero zero at zero zero continue that zero zero also find also find also find f x x y f x x y and f y x y let to write the for x y not equal to zero zero for x y not equal to zero zero right this is our problem so what is our problem for problem is that what f x and f y zero you have to find and we want to show that they are exist then what you have to do f is not continuous so in one variable we have seen that if a function is differentiable then it is continuous right but here what partial derivatives are exist so this is two variable function both the first order partial derivative are exist but the function is not continuous that means what here what we have to see here so what we have to conclude here so that what the continuity differentiability partial differentiality and continuity there is no relation right that means what the first order partial derivative will exist function will function may or may not be continuous the function is continuous do not imply that your first order your partial derivative the exist or not that we want to prove okay so we will find first f x 0 0 f y 0 0 0 then we will continue control, then we will check the continuity for this one okay so solution given that given that f of x y is equal to this. okay so we'll write f x 0 0 0 f x 0 0 so apply the definition this is what limit x tends to 0 f of 0 plus x 0 minus f of 0 0 upon h so this is what limit h tends to 0 f of h this is what 0 plus h means 0 h 0 h 0 means what x y not equal to 0 0 because h tends to 0 means h not equal to 0 the x not this is what this is your function there what you have to put here put the value of x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 if you put x is equal to h and y is equal to 0 see numerator is the product of the function of x and y right x into y square that means if x is equal to 0 numerator is 0 if y is equal to 0 the numerator is again 0 so your y is your 0 so that means what your f of h 0 now see h 0 so what you are putting here a, 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 x as h and y is 0 so, so we get 0 0 upon h square 0 upon h square now h not equal to 0 that means non, 0 upon non 0 is what 0 so this is 0 and f of 0 0 is directly given this is there so this will be what 0 that means your first order derivative with respect to x at 0 0 is exit so f y <coughs> so limit k tends to 0 f of 0 0 plus k minus f of 0 0 we will apply the definition of a this is what your a b is what 0 0 upon k now see here this is limit k tends to 0 now f of 0 0 plus k that is k f of 0 k we will find with that one. this is what not equal to 0 0 so the either one of them is not 0 then this is not 0 your x y is not equal to 0 0 right so 0 0 so this is not equal to 0 0 your function is this you have to put x is equal to you have to put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to k now x is equal to 0 y is equal to k so 0 into k square is 0 now or 0 upon uh, this is what 0 plus k square that means 0 upon k square so 0 upon k square is 0 so 0 f of 0 0 is directly given this is k this is 0 so therefore therefore f x 0 0 is equal to f y 0 0 is equal to 0 right so 
therefore fx00 and fy00 both exist both exist right so this part one will is over now so now we we'll discuss the continuity of this one right so fx continues we know that we know that we know that f is continuous at 0 0 if limit x y tends to 0 0 f of x y is equal to f of 0 0 so we have the value of f of 0 0 is 0 right so only we will go at, we will find limit right we will find the limit now so n is equal to limit x y tends to 0, 0. So, what we are saying that if these two are equal, then your function is continuous. So, problem is that what? To show that it is not continuous, that means what? We have to show that this limit does not exist actually, right? So, this is what? f of x1. f of x1. We will put the value of x1 now. So, x1 not equal to 0, 0. That means your function is what? Your function is x y square upon x square plus y square. So we'll apply here what polar formula, right? So this is what limit r tends to zero, r tends to zero, right? So this is what r cos theta, r cos theta, r sin theta square upon r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta, right? So now here r square, so r cube, one r will be in there, limit r tends to 0 r then what here cos theta sin square theta upon 1 now right cos square theta plus sin square then 1 so now 0 into anything is what here 0 right so that means this is what the problem so problem is x y square hmm? take here x y so x y right so then this is what all are, are get cancelled right so then we will just correct the problem this one here okay no problem for fx and f y it is they are okay hmm? because we get the numerator as 0 0 right so now this r get cancelled this is what then cos theta times to theta right so limit limit depends on theta so therefore limit x y tends to 0 0 f of x y does not exist does not exist so therefore f is not if limit does not exist then it is not continuous f is not continuous at 0 0 right so second part is also over now what we want then we want to find only the fx y fx and fy first order for partial element okay first order partial element okay do the correction here there is no y square hmm? so if you take the y square or y it doesn't matter for fx 0 0 and fy 0 0 but uh, you have to take this xy right so we'll find out fx so now xy not equal to 0 0 that means this is your function Okay. We will differentiate this one. We will apply u by v rule x square plus y square as it is. Into derivative of numerator partially with respect to x. So this is y minus x square plus minus x y as it is. Numerator as it is. Into derivative of the denominator partially with respect to x. That is twice x. Then the square of this one. Square of the denominator. Right? Now see the terms. This is what x square y and this is twice x square y. So this is what then y cube minus this is your y cube x square y and this is twice x square y. So this is minus x square y x square y upon x square plus y square bracket square. This is your fx then. Now fy. The same thing here. What x square plus y square denominator into derivative of numerator partially with respect to y that is x minus numerator as it is 
numerator as it is partial derivative of denominator with respect to y that is twice y upon square of the denominator so this is equal to now see this is what x cube now this is what x y square and this is what twice x y square so minus x y square upon x square plus y square bracket square right Let f of x y is equal to mod x plus mod y. Mod x plus y. Show that. Show that f is continuous continuous at zero zero. So that f is continuous at zero zero, but but neither but neither f x but neither f x nor f y exist at zero zero. Okay. So this is our problem. What do I do now? What we have seen in the last example, first order partial derivative of x function is continuous. Now here, what is this is the example of a function. Function is continuous, but the partial derivative do not exist, right? So in the previous example, what we have seen, the first part, first order partial derivative exists, but the function do not continue. Now here, what the so your function is continuous, but the first order partial derivative do not exist. So that we have to verify now. Solution. Given that, given that f of x y is equal to mod of x plus mod of y, right? We know that. We know that mod x and mod y are continuous. Are continuous. Right, because mod x, you know the graph of the mod x and mod y are this. This is what they are no single variable function. They are continuous everywhere. Right. So now we know that the sum of two continuous functions is continuous. Right. So therefore, f of x y is equal to mod x plus mod y is continuous. Is continuous. Uh, so we want so it is continuous everywhere. It is continuous everywhere. Everywhere. Right. So everywhere on R two, everywhere on R two. So therefore, f of x y, we want only at zero now. f of x y is continuous at zero zero, right? So your function is continuous. Only way to show that now what your first order partial derivative do not exist. That means what we have to show f x zero zero and f y zero zero do not exist, right? So we find f x zero zero. Now we cannot draw directly. We cannot differentiate directly. So we we'll apply the definition of the del partial derivative. So this is what limit h tends to zero because mod x and mod y are there. So we cannot differentiate this directly by our usual rule. Hmm? So this is what f of zero plus h zero minus f of zero zero upon h. <coughs> so what is f of h? This is f of H zero, so f of h zero, we'll put x h zero, h zero, with mod x, mod h plus mod zero. So this is mod h only. Your f of h zero is mod x only because mod y is zero zero. Minus f of zero zero is zero upon h. So this is what limit h tends to zero mod h upon h. So this is what limit h tends to zero mod h upon h. And last time, in the last year. We have seen that this limit do not exist. This limit, this limit, do not exist. Therefore, f x zero zero does not exist. Does not exist. Right? Okay. So similarly, 
Similarly, we prove F Y also does not exist. Next, we write the definition. Definition is very important here. So F Y zero zero limit k tends to zero. F of zero zero plus k minus F of zero zero upon k upon k upon k. So we write the value of this one down. So this is what now limit k tends to zero. F of zero zero plus k means F of zero k. Put x is equal to zero and y is equal to k. What we get then? This is more k minus f of zero zero. Put x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero in the original function. So that is zero upon k. So this is what again limit k tends to zero. This is more k upon k. Again, this limit does not exist. This limit, this limit does not exist. So therefore. F Y zero zero does not exist, right? So that is what your function is continuous, but the first order derivative does not exist. So I hope that you understand this one. Okay. So in the next time we will see the uh, examples on more examples on this partial derivative. So now we stop here.